In this video, I'm going to talk about planning your research goals. We all struggle to achieve our goals. And that's because we either do not plan it properly or execute it correctly. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to plan and execute your goals effectively. Let's jump in. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vidi. I'm an associate professor from Australia. On this channel, I share videos for PhD students, postdocs, and even researchers, as I want them to be successful researchers. As we head into 2021, I want you to plan your PhD goals effectively. We need to list our goals and evaluate them and come up with a plan on how we are going to achieve those goals. To do this, I will show you a five step strategy called as the SMART strategy. So SMART is a goal setting strategy. SMART stands for specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time bound. SMART goals will help you to track your goals and monitor your progress. Let me now give you an example. As PhD researchers, one of our goal is to publish a high impact factor journal. Now let's break this using the SMART strategy. Let's begin with specific. First, your goal should be specific. What does it mean? An example of a specific goal would be, I want to start writing my research paper. Now think about it. Is it really specific or can you be even more specific about it? Let's make it more specific. I can make it more specific by saying that I want to start writing my systematic literature review paper. Try to make your goals as specific as possible. Don't be vague. Make it crisp and clear. So here is your goal so far. I want to finish my systematic literature review paper. It's a specific goal. Now let's move on to the next aspect, which is measurable. An example of a measurable goal would be, I have submitted my systematic literature review paper to a high impact factor journal named International Journal of. But this may take long. A typical paper may take anywhere between four to eight weeks. So how are you going to monitor your progress and keep motivated in that time frame? It is always a good idea to break down your goal into smaller milestones. Remember that visible progress is very, very important to keep yourself motivated during this period. Use a simple planner, a paper, to record your progress on a daily basis. Make daily notes in this planner and keep it somewhere that you can see easily. What could be some of your milestones? Say, for example, your first milestone could be to complete the introduction section of your systematic literature review paper. The second milestone could be completing the methodology section of your systematic literature review paper. Similarly, the final milestone could be completing the entire systematic literature review paper and submitting it for review. Here is your goal now. I want to finish my systematic literature review paper and submit it for review to the International Journal the third aspect of SMART goals is achievable. What actions are you going to take to achieve your goals? Your action could be, I will be writing a minimum of 200 words each day. Take small steps. Start with 200 words, then maybe increase it to 300 words a day. And as you gain more experience, you can aim for 400 or 500 words a day. There is no point in making unachievable aims because it will only dishearten you and will limit your progress. But how can you know what is achievable? One way is that you can set some goals and try to achieve it. If you cannot achieve it, you might have to scale back and then you can revise and refine your goals. Another way is to work with your PhD supervisor or your PhD coach and take their help to plan your research goals. So here is your goal so far. I want to finish my systematic literature review paper and submit it to the International Journal of by writing a minimum of 200 words each day. Next, let's move on to the fourth aspect of SMART strategy that is relevant. What is the value of completing this goal? Ask yourself why you want to achieve this goal now. Why is it important now? For example, what is the value of getting a paper published in a high impact factor journal? How will it help you? What value would it bring to you as a researcher or as a PhD student? Answering these questions will help you to rank your goals. For ranking your goals, there are two different ways. 
One is you can use the 80-20 rule, which says that 80% of results come from 20% of the tasks that you do. So think about your goal and see whether this task is within the 20% task that will help you achieve that 80% of the results. Second, you can evaluate the value versus effort. What I mean by that is think about the goal and assess the effort that is required to do that goal and the value that it will bring to you. So if it's a low effort and high value task, go for it. That makes the most sense. So here is your goal so far. I want to finish my systematic literature review paper and submit it for review to an international journal of by writing at least 200 words each day because publishing in a high impact factor journal will help me build my track record as a successful researcher. Finally, we move on to the last aspect of the SMART strategy and that is time bound. Give yourself time to finish this goal. Keep a deadline because deadlines are important to keep you on track and to push yourself towards achieving your goal. For example, 21 days to write your systematic literature review paper. This is an example of a time bound aspect for your goal. If you want to see how you can write a paper in 21 days, do check out my free videos where you can see step by step how you can complete your paper. So after evaluating these five aspects for your goal, this is your final goal. I want to finish my systematic literature review paper in the next 21 days and submit it for review to International Journal of by writing 200 words per day because publishing a journal paper will help me build my track record as a successful researcher. So in the end, follow these steps and make a list of goals that you want to achieve. Also plan what efforts you're going to put to achieve these goals on a daily, weekly and a monthly basis. So start planning now and don't forget to join my free webinar on how to plan for your PhD in year one, in year two and in year three. Do you have a goal that you want to achieve this month? If so, please mention them in the comments below. Do check out my other free webinars and videos for PhD students as I believe they'll be very helpful to you all. That's all in this video. Hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Till then, take care and stay blessed. Bye-bye.